Welcome back to the channel. I've got some very interesting things to show you today. Now, it's kind of a combination of things. I'm not just showing you one thing, I'm actually showing you two different things at the same time. Harbor SEO takes the guesswork out of SEO. Instead of having to become an SEO expert yourselves or paying an agency to do it, instead, you can just do everything yourselves using our tool. Try it today, harborseo.ai, using the discount code half price to get your first month for just $14. The first thing I'm showing you is Klein or C Line. I think it's called Klein. I don't really know. It used to be called Claude Dev. Now it's called Klein. Let's talk about it. So first things first, Visual Studio Code. You wanna open Visual Studio Code and on there you wanna press on the left extensions and you wanna write C-Line and then install C-Line. Once you've installed it, you'll see this little robot here on the side. Now this thing is an absolute beast. I would say to create production ready code, it's better than Cursor, okay? It, has, it just has a better brain than Cursor. I'm not really sure why, I can't put my finger on it, but there's something about C-Line, say Klein, that makes it slightly better than Cursor and making production ready code. I've got a prompt here and I wanna show you two things, like I said. So the other thing that I wanna show you, well actually it's three things. I wanna show you also GPT Vision. And the third thing I wanna show you is Expo. Now what on earth is Expo? Let's just go to Google and type in Expo. Click on this here. Expo is a way to, it's like local host for mobile apps. So what we're actually gonna be doing is we're gonna be using React Native and Expo to make something in this video that, I'm just gonna use a very simple example. And I know you can do this with ChatGPT, like I said, it's just a very simple example, but you can take a picture of anything on your phone, on an app, and it will describe whatever it is in that picture, okay? now. I know that ChatGPT can do that, it's just an example. I'm sure you can think of a better example than that yourselves. I would give you what Ed's doing, my friend who got me onto this, but I won't give away his secret because he wouldn't be very happy with me if I did. So I was about to, by the way, in my head, that's where my train of thought was going. So just go to Expo, create an account, and then we're gonna get this started. So I'm just gonna paste my prompt here. Now a lot of this prompt is just G like GPT-40 mini, documentation, okay? So this says, make me a React Native app that allows users to upload an image from their phone and then it will identify what the image is using uh, vision uh, and use Expo to test the app. I'm gonna say use the 52.00 Expo SDK um, to test the app. Uh, and then this is literally just copied and pasted from the docs of GPT-40 vision. So. I'll just show you that, open AI GPT-40 vision. And then it's this one here. This is literally just a copy and paste from this page here, but obviously using um, the Node library, not the Python library. So I literally just copied this, and then I'm just gonna hit enter. So there we go, blah, 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 blah. So just keep pressing run. You don't have to think about things, just press run, run, run. Run, forest, run! So yes. Oh, that already exists. Uh, so we'll run again. There we go, it's got a different name now. Creating a blank project, npm install. So what React Native is, I didn't even know about this. React Native is basically React, but it's for phones, okay? So previously I thought I was under the impression that to make a mobile app you had to learn something like Swift or um, you know one of the mobile language app uh, languages. It turns out that you can actually just create something on React Native uh, and you can create something on React Native web as well. So you, you could make something that could be a website, a web app, but also a mobile app at the same time. So I didn't know this was possible. So again, shout out to Ed. I love it when Ed's here visiting me because he just gives me so much inspiration and so many new things to talk about, so many new things to learn about as well. So like I said, just keep pressing run here. You can pretty much guarantee that it's get everything pretty much correct. Although as you could see there, that actually failed. There we go, perfect. So yeah, we're using React Native just because, yeah, it's, 
it's really, really interesting. Uh, so first thing is we have to put our OpenAI API key. So I'll just grab that real quick. Should be in one of these files here. So there we go, .env, perfect. We'll be deleting this at the end of this video, so don't bother trying to use it, basically. So we'll save that, and then it's going to start actually creating uh, what we want it to create. Now it's already adding the functionality, so it's using GPT-40 Mini, like it's like you can see there. Now just think about what you could actually do with an app like this. Now, like I said, I know ChatGPT can do this, but ChatGPT is broad, right? So if you can think of a specific use case for this, okay? So some examples that I came up with are you input what you're allergic to and you take a picture of everything that you eat if you're like highly allergic, okay? I'm not talking about like having a slight allergy to peanuts or whatever. I'm talking about like deathly allergic to something. And you can see how that would be a really useful app, right? You take a picture of anything and it'll just, in, in, in any language, right? Because GBT4 or Mini can work in any language. Let's say you're a traveler, like my friend Ed, and Ed is not allergic to anything as far as I'm aware, but let's say he's allergic to walnuts. And if he eats walnuts, he you know, gets very, very sick. I wouldn't trust ChatGPT generally as much as I would trust a specific app with a specific prompt that is specifically looking for everything you're allergic to. Okay, so you know, in my head, the way that this app would work is you, you download the app, you um, input what you're deathly allergic to, and then you take a picture of every ingredient that you eat, right, or the back of you know, whatever you're eating at every turn, and it will automatically tell you if there's something in there that you're allergic to. That's just an example, obviously. There are many, many examples of things that you can make here. Huh? Yeah. yeah, exactly, exactly. So now all I'm doing is on my phone, okay, I'm just uh, going on, I'm just scanning this QR code and pressing open an S Expo Go, like that. Now it's building JavaScript bundle. I can't show you guys this very easily, but it, it, it's here on my phone. And then look, it says pick an image from camera roll. By the way, just remember that we're literally four or five minutes into this video. So I'm just gonna pick an image, press allow here, and then we'll just pick an image of my cat. Well, I, I, I got a new cat, guys. Obviously, RIP to my old cat, but um, yeah, I got a new one. We adopted her. And we'll see, I don't know, is this working? Let's see. It's loading. And there it is, look. I, I, you can't really see that, but I'll just read it out. So it's a picture of my cat. The image features a cat that appears to be sleeping or resting in a relaxed, curled up position. The cat has a tricolor coat with patches of black, orange, and white. It is lying on a dark textured blanket. So literally, we've been recording for eight minutes. I've just made a mobile app, okay? <laughs> let that sink in. Let, let that sink in. <laughs> what the fuck? So yeah, honestly, guys, this is fucking insane. So I got this idea from Ed. Ed is making an app that he's going to release on the App Store. This could be a really, really interesting way to make money. There's such thing as ASO, which is App Store Optimization, which is SEO for the App Store. I find this absolutely fascinating. There are millions of things you can do. And the, the really cool thing is, right, everyone always says, oh, it's saturated, everything's saturated. AI is new, okay? It's only been out for a year or two years or whatever. So not everything in AI is saturated yet, okay? There are things that don't exist yet. So again, my friend Ed, shout out to Ed again. He was telling me about an app uh, that someone made that uses GBT Whisper. What, what you do is you, you open the app on your phone when you're in university lectures. Uh, you leave the app open. It will listen to the entire lecture, and then it creates study notes from that lecture. Okay? And apparently, according to Ed again, <laughs> uh, it's making 200 grand a month or something just from uh, doing that because so many uni students, and I went to university. I know exactly that I, I would have loved this app because I didn't go to any of my lectures. And I would have loved people to have uh, used this app and then put it in the groups. Because what basically what happened at the end of every single year at my university was everyone was scrambling to get people's notes that actually went to lectures. Because there were some people like me who didn't go to any lectures. And there were many people who did go to lectures. And they would often refuse to give me their notes because obviously they didn't want me to 
just leech off them, I guess. Uh, but they would probably be much more willing to give, you know, GPT summarized notes of uh, exams. So yeah, I'm going to end the video there, guys, because it was literally that quick and that simple to make a mobile app that uses GPT-4 revision. Obviously, you'd need a bit more refinement, you'd need CSS, you'd need this, you'd need that. But holy crap, was that easy and simple and beautiful. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope that someone somewhere will use this to make some money. I believe they will. I do receive a good amount of emails from people. I don't show them off. I don't tell people about them normally, but it does happen. I have received many emails, many messages of people who have said they've taken my methods, what I've shown in a video, and they're actually making money from it. So this is another one, guys. This is completely free to set up. You only have to pay a percentage to Apple of what you sell. And I spent, as you can see here, 10 cents making this. It actually says API cost 10 cents, okay? So it was 10 cents. This, this whole app cost me 10 cents to make, okay? Let's end the video there, guys. You could, if you wanted, say things like make this look nicer or add this functionality or, you know, whatever. Like Ed, for example, has connected it to a data, his to a database. But yeah, we're going to end the video there, guys. Keep pushing. Keep grinding. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching all the way to the end, you're an absolute legend. And I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out. Watch this video if you want to learn about an exciting way to make money using mobile apps and AI in 2025.